Hi everyone, and today I'm going to show you a really, really cool trick that I love for changing colors around in Illustrator. So I've got this suite that um, I thought would be a great example for this because it's just really colorful and the colors are kind of the main focus of the suite. Um, I haven't actually put any wording in yet, but I've got this design laid out kind of how I want it. So as you can see, these um, swatches up here are the colors that I used. For this piece, um, and I took them from this photo that I found, which I can I can blow up here for you to see. So I just really liked that color scheme, and then I added um, this lighter blue and this kind of terracotta color, just because some of the elements that I pulled in were those colors, and I thought they looked nice here as well. So I'm going to add this to my collection suites, but what I want to show also is what this is going to look like in different colors. So what you do first is just go ahead and kind of select everything and then you're going to go up here and collect, select this color guide. And then you'll select this edit colors right here and as you can see everything kind of changed already to what we've got up here. So if you click on this button down here that is randomly change color order, it's just going to cycle through this existing color group and kind of change things around and you can see what it's going to look like with different color schemes. And you can always go through and uh, assign them yourself. So if you want um, this terracotta color, for instance, to become, you know, purple, you can do that. And then everything that was that terracotta color all of a sudden becomes purple. Or if you're kind of just not sure where you want it to go, which is where I kind of start playing around, you can just select various color groups and move through them. Like this one is really cool. Um, not exactly how it'd end up. A lot of these don't end up exactly where you want them to go. But it's kind of a cool vibe to add the purple. Um, I don't hate the green too much, but I, I do like this uh, like dustier purple there. So maybe we would start here, maybe I would come up with a suite that's got some more of this purple color in it because I think that looks nice with um, this kind of yellowy ochre color. So I'm not necessarily saying that any of these are going to be like a new color scheme for this suite. They could be. I actually don't hate this one as is. Um, that's kind of fun. But this is a really fun place to start. So as a reminder, these up here are where we started with blues, more yellow, terracotta colors. And this could be a really fun variation of the suite. So if you're thinking about um, different color modes and you're kind of not really sure where you want to go with it, um, this is a really fun way to kind of play with some unique colors and see what happens. And obviously, like, this is a suite that can get really weird and retro looking if you get too bright. So definitely want to stick with more natural colors, which is why we were really liking that, um, those green tones. This is even a little bit bright. I probably would not go this bright with this suite. And one more thing that I do want to show you is kind of a similar vibe. I'm going to choose one that we kind of liked. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one as a place to start for this portion of it. So this was randomly changing color order. So then, you know, the orange moved down, etc. So this just cycled through the color group that we've chosen. This one is randomly changed saturation and brightness. So that's kind of a fun place to go too, because you're kind of in the same color group, but you're switching out different saturations and brightnesses. So if we get something that we think is like, you know, maybe pretty tones, but definitely too bright. Um, let's do this one. Um, then we can go through and kind of edit and play with that a little bit. And then again, you can still cycle through the color order and see how that changes. So I think this is actually a really cool color scheme here with that dark blue pop. And as you keep going through this, you kind of keep getting different variations of the same thing, which is pretty cool. So as a reminder, this is where we started and thinking about how long it would take you to manually select all the yellow things and change them over or even change the swatches over to different colors. Um, you'd have to pick those all out individually. So this is a really cool way um, where you can see different color groups and how they play together. 
I'm not necessarily saying we would leave this here as is, but maybe it's a good starting point to a new color path, a new way of looking at this suite. So I just think this is a really, really fun tool. I actually like this color path a lot. Um, so you can really start with whatever you want and then play with this to see what other color paths might be really nice within your artwork. This is an analogous color group, so all the colors are very similar, close to each other on the color wheel, etc. And I think this is actually super fun. Kind of like playing with this. You know I love the yellow colors, so of course I'm gonna like that. And then if we were to play with the brightness and saturation, you know, we get a few different variations. I love this olive green here. I think I could play with this pretty much all day <laughs> if you let me. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop myself. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tool. And just as a reminder, you get to it from Color Guide over here. And you can find it in the window panel here or by pressing Shift F3. And then you just press this Edit Colors right there. Thanks everyone. And as always, give us a like or subscribe. Um, let us know what you think of this video in the comments and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about this tool. Thanks everyone.